Hi, my name is Noah Hayden. Today I'm going to be doing a video on blood administration. The first thing I'm going to do is verify that I have a physician order and verify client by two identifiers. I will then make sure I have a signed consent form, blood requisition form, and blood compatibility. Once I have received the blood from the blood bank using a second nurse, I will verify the blood bag's label for the client's name, identification number, blood type, RH type, and donor number, as well as the expiration date on the blood. Once all these steps have been completed, I will ensure that I properly identify my patient using two identifiers, and I will also explain to the patient the procedure. Once I enter the room, I will knock, introduce myself, verify my patient, I'll perform hand hygiene, and then once everything is settled with our patient, I will go ahead and make sure that I have blood tubing. I will make sure that the blood tubing has a blood filter. If not, I will apply a blood filter. Once I've done that, I can begin preparing the blood tubing for blood administration. I will perform hand hygiene, and I will put on some clean gloves. Once I have clean gloves on, I will ensure that I have blood tubing that has been unused. I will ensure that I clamp all of the lines before I prime the tubing. Then once all lines are clamped, I will prime the blood tubing with regular saline. Using stale technique, I will remove the cover on the saline. Then I will spike the saline bag. I will then hang the saline bag. Once I have hung the saline bag, I will open the main clamp and I will prime the filter chamber by squeezing and I'll ensure that all air is removed. And I will completely cover the filter. Once the filter is completely covered, I will remove all air. And then I'll prime the rest of the line. In order to prime the line, I will move the cap. I'll go ahead and open the main line. And prime all the way through, ensuring that all air is removed into a receptacle. And then I will proceed to clamp the main line and the filter line. Once all the lines are clamped, I will verify compatibility with any lines that are attached to the patient. And then I will attach the main IV line to the patient's IV site. Using sterile technique, I will apply, attach this to the catheter in the patient's arm. I will then open both of the lines and adjust the flow rate using the clamp line. I will then verify that I have flow to the patient. Once I have attached the IV to the patient, I will begin to prepare the blood. To prepare the blood, I'll take the blood bag and I will gently agitate the blood bag to mix the plasma. I will not shake. Once the plasma is completely mixed, 
I will go ahead and attach the clamped blood line. I will spike the blood bag, and then I will hang the blood with the saline. Once the blood is hung, I will go ahead and clamp the saline line and open the blood line and adjust the rate of flow for the patient. to ensure that the patient is receiving saline or blood. So I verified that the chamber is filling, I've adjusted the flow rate. I'll make sure that the blood flows to the patient. Once I have verified that the blood is flowing to the patient, I will then Remain with the patient for 15 minutes to monitor for a reaction to the blood transfusion, <clears throat> either hemolytic reaction or allergic reaction. I'll be monitoring for signs such as chills, fever, uh, erythema at the site, or anything that might indicate that the patient is having a hemolytic reaction or an allergic reaction to the blood. Once I've been with the patient's bedside for 15 minutes and make sure that the patient is okay, I will go ahead and remove my gloves. I'll perform hand hygiene. I will go and document for this procedure, uh, making sure that I indicate what time the blood transfusion started so that we can ensure that the blood is in within four hours. Thank you.